All right, back to the NFL. Tom Brady and the Bucks play the Falcons at home Sunday on Fox. Both teams 500 to start the season. When Brady was asked about 15 teams having a 2-2 two two record through the week four of the NFL, he said, quote, I think there's a lot of bad football from what I watch. I watch a lot of bad football. Poor quality of football. That's what I see. Ooh, Shannon. Are you surprised Brady went here and said this? No, because he playing some of that bad football. Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be watching tape of himself. Funny. You got no, jokes. I ain't no jokes. It's a real, it's a real deal. Mm. For the longest time, Tom Brady has been able to, uh, uh, you know, be up high and look down low. Mm. But guess what? Now, all of a sudden, he in that group that's playing bad football. Mm. Yep. Sure is, Skip Bayless. As much as you don't want to admit it, the numbers say Tom Brady is playing bad football. Mm. I don't need the numbers. I watch the games. Mm. Numbers lie sometimes. Mm. What your eyes tell you. Mm. What the facts tell you? <laughs> the facts tell me he playing some bad football right really? now. Look, I think there's, look, I'm not breaking any news. I think some of the issues that Tom is dealing with in his personal life has crept into his, his, his uh, professional life, and it's impacted him. I'm not saying that he's never had to deal with issues before, but he's never had to deal with issues like this before publicly. Mm. And there's one thing dealing with something private. Skip, that's why they always ask. When, you, when people are going through something, what they ask? You, I ask that you let me and my family have this time to deal with this privately. Tom Brady didn't have that luxury or hadn't gotten that luxury because what has happened is that's kind of played out in the public in the public space. Mm -hmm. So he's been dealing with that. But Tom hasn't been good. Yeah, there's yeah, bad football. There's bad football every year. It's not earth-shattering news. I just think the thing, Skip, normally we have three or four teams that's still 4-0, 5-0. Oh, oh. Right mm -hmm. now, we only have one team. And I think that might be the fewest team that's ever been, what, 4-0 oh, at this late in the season. I can't remember the last time there's only one team that's, an un that's undefeated at this point in time so early in the season. Normally, we have three or four teams that are 3-0, 4-0, 5-0, and all of a sudden, we only have one team. But Tom is right. There is some bad football being played. Unfortunately for him, he's playing some of it. Mm, funny. <laughs> Ain't nobody. It's true. Number one, I was shocked that my man, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr., blurted this out mm -mm. because it's not like him yeah, they, to speak you, like this. You see? He got, got him out of character. He, Thank He's usually all shucks, gee whiz. Yeah, he's buttoned up. He's Belichickian. He's not mm -hmm. going to give you anything in any kind of midweek media session. Yes. I'm sure what's happening off the field bothers him. I still don't believe it distracts him or affects him at all on the field. That's just me because he's been dealing with life his whole career. Nah, not, not to this magnitude, yeah. Skip. Okay. I, I still don't believe it because football has always been number one to him, and I think when it's time to focus on football, Nobody can focus any better than he can focus. So what was what, the adage? Happy wife, happy life. That's mm. a lie? Mm. I'm going to leave that be for now. <laughs> and I'm going to stay on the field because he's had reasons to be at least as unhappy on the field as off the field because it's been a rough start for him. And by the way, an opening schedule at Dallas, then your nemesis, your, your kryptonite New Orleans in New Orleans. They're not very good. And then Green Bay at home. Green Bay's pretty you got good. Little, you, you ain't got no respect for Aaron Rodgers. And then Kansas City at home. Yeah. That, that's murderer's row to start oh, the year. That's remember, a tough schedule. You remember what they did to Tom? You remember what they did to him in the Super Bowl? Yeah, you remember what they did to, to Aaron Rodgers at Lambeau Field? His coach wouldn't even let him go for it on fourth and eight. And if it comes to that this postseason, that will happen again and again to Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes book it. Yeah, you, you, he, book don't, he don't want to see my homeboy no more. All right, but what happened against New Orleans? Would you believe that the game high targets were thrown by Tampa's quarterback to somebody named Scotty Miller? Little Scotty Miller had eight targets in that game because Brady was down to Little Scotty as his go to guy at receiver. A little Scotty who a lot of people thought was on the bubble to even make the team in training camp mm -hmm. this year. And then Green Bay comes a call in to, to Tampa Bay, and what happens? 13 balls get thrown to Russell Gage, your new slot receiver. They have to split him out and throw him 13 balls. He's your go-to receiver because, to your credit, you said, wait a second, will Julio, how long will he stay upright? Well, he's not upright anymore. I don't know what's happened. He's got this, and then he's got that, and then he's yeah. got this, and he's not available, right? Yeah. And there was no Mike Evans that game because he got suspended yeah, for that game, Yeah, thank you, Tom. Right? So, Tom, okay. thank you right. for, okay. for getting Mike you Evans suspended. make that case. 
And then here comes Kansas City. And all Tom Brady did, because Kansas City was running for 189 yards on that impenetrable Tampa Bay run defense, 189 yards rushing. They controlled the clock 39 minutes to 21 for Tom Brady. Yeah. In just 21 minutes, he throws for 385, three touchdowns and no interceptions, and he's playing bad football? I think not. Well, see, I love how you went to uh, one game. Well, uh, what did he do against Dallas? How many yards did he throw for against the Cowboys? How many yards okay, did he throw for against the Saints? Okay, how well, many look, yards? Look did what he... Dallas has done every game. Okay, okay. Well, how many yards did he throw for against the uh, the Saints? They, they've had his number. He in the two, last two home games against the Saints, he scored a grand total of three points. Hadn't even scored a touchdown. Hold on. Didn't didn't hold on. How, what did he do? What did he do against the Packers? You keep telling me what he did. Now you telling me what he did and a loss. You tell him he threw for 385, but you do realize that when Patrick Mahomes was scoring all those points, they kicked the ball off to Tom Brady. Mm. And when what happens, the reason why you don't possess the ball for any length of time, when you don't run it, you go incomplete, incomplete. That takes a minute, you're off the field. Mm. My homeboy gets back how on the field. How do you go incomplete, incomplete, and throw for 385? In the first half. So how many points? So what did he do in the first half? Ooh. How many yards did he have in the first half? I, oh, know, I didn't oh, break it down. Okay, well, I will, I will break it down for you. Mm. Tom Brady had three touchdowns. And 267 of his 285, mm -hmm. when he, they were at least three scores behind. Mm -hmm. He never, he threw four passes. Tom Brady, of all those passes he threw, he only threw four when there was a one possession game. He, he's the comeback king. There's never been anything like that. Why him you got to come back? He scored 24 unanswered in a playoff game against the soon to be champion Rams. I just ask you a question, Phil. Why would you need to come back? He, he brought it all the way back to a tie game against the Rams. He did that. Yeah. He's done it repeatedly. His first six Super Bowls, he won with fourth quarter game winning no, no, drives and overtime. No, 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 no. We're not talking about he, he got those. Those are done. Yeah. We're talking about right now. We're talking about some of that bad football. Because you mentioned that. You said, I, Tom, this is not like Tom. Mm. So obviously, Something is going on where he feels that he needs to say there's bad football being played. Every time he comes off the field, he's yelling and slinging snot and breaking tablets and everything. How, how, Come on, guys. How can you not be playing bad football when you're down to your third string left tackle blindside protect? Third string. Oh, look, I'm how can you not be playing bad football when you're starting a rookie at left guard? How can you not be playing bad football when your center is playing his third, fourth, and now fifth I was told, games at center in his life. I was told nobody does more with less than That's Thomas Edward Patrick That's Brady. That's a fact. Do more then. Yeah. I do more. Now, he needs, in other words, he needs more because he's less. Mm. What I've been telling you all along. You've been trying to tell me he's less for six straight years, and he, Thomas Edward Patrick Brady Jr., has made you eat those words six straight years. What did he do? You've been trying to send what, him what, home. What did he do? He went and joined Mike Evans who, with Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. When he got there, Chris Godwin was the number one rated receiver, pro football focus. Both guys had just come out pro bowl season. They seasons. were seven and nine. And what, and what did Devin White say? They were Devin, the suckers. What did ears. Devin White say? If, if Jameis doesn't turn the ball over 30-plus 30 times, We'll play our team with Jameis. Da da. So mm. don't don't pretend like. So in other words, he made Chris Godwin. Mm. In other words, he made Mike Evans. Mm. Is that what you're telling me? I want to hear you say it out your mouth. Mm. I didn't think so. All I know is that <laughs> last year, the players in this league, the peers, his peers, voted him the best player in pro football. Skip, I got and no you wanted to send him home. Skip. Pro Football Focus graded him the number one quarterback in the regular the season. The Rams sent him home. Wow. I didn't send him home. The Rams sent him home. They didn't the send number, him home. Yes, they, they sent did. the defense. No, no, they home. sent him home. Yeah. Guess what? That's what happened. It's it's called a team. Mm -hmm. So guess what? They, the defense didn't go home and Tom Brady kept playing. He went home with him. It was 27 all and Cooper Cup was running a decoy route and they blow a blitz and Matt Stafford said, seriously, I'll take that. So, so what, about those, what about those four turnovers that the defense gave him? They did. Okay. Yeah, but, he, but he was cashing, man. Go, oh, cashing. Yeah, I, I watched Russell Wilson last night go 0 for 4 in the red zone. I watched Brady cash every turnover. And guess what? It got him. Mm. It got him tied. It got him tied. Got him going home. Got him 27 got him going all. home. Okay, what did he do with my homeboy? What did he do with my homeboy? He beat him in the Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, he what? beat him in the AFC Championship game and the Super Bowl. Oh, he was a baby. Like you tell me, he was a baby in the, in the AFC Championship game. We got, hey, he, he beat the defense. Yep. He didn't beat Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes wasn't on the field when he scored that game when it touched down. Patrick Mahomes did what he's supposed to do if it wasn't for that pathetic defense. Mm.
he did go on in the same interview yesterday to say, we can look at the film and understand why we were so bad. You turn the ball over, you get behind, you don't play well whoa, whoa, third whoa, whoa, down, whoa, whoa, whoa. you don't score points in the red area. Whoa. It's all the same stuff, said Who, Tom Brady Time yesterday. out, time out, time out, time out. Who turned the ball over? He Little did. Boy, that didn't fumble. No, he no, did. No, that's what I need him to say. Yeah. Oh, oh, third down. Who's throwing the ball on third down? Who's the quarterback on third down? Do they got a different quarterback on third down than they on first, first mm. two downs? Yeah. I didn't think so. In other way, a long story short, Tom Brady said, yeah, they're playing bad football. Mm. And guys, what he should have said, there's been a lot of bad football. And unfortunately, mm. right now, I'm playing some of it. No, That's why he's that. screaming and red and carrying on every time he turned around. He's throwing tablets. He threw for 385, and he's playing bad he, football. Hold on. Time out. Woo. How many yards did he throw for against Dallas? Huh. How many yards did he throw for against the uh, Saints? He How many him. yards did he throw for against Green Bay? He beat them. He Oh, you, beat, you won the first two games, and those are tough games. Oh, what about Green Bay? At Dallas, Green Bay, at Green, New Orleans? Green Bay scored 14 points. Did you know uh, 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 Billy Zappi? Mm. Billy Zappi scored more points on the road in Lambeau than Tom Brady scored at home in Raymond James. Bailey. Bailey Zappi. I keep, why keep calling that man Billy Zappi? He's, he's a Billy to everybody <laughs> Bailey, else. Bailey, okay. Bailey Zappi. <laughs> yeah. You mean to tell me Bailey Zappi, a rookie, a guy that went to, he went to some little junior cup, Houston Baptist. He did go to Houston Baptist. Went to Houston For Baptist. For three years For he three went years. Yeah. And he went on the road at Lambeau yeah. and scored more points in Lambeau than Tom Brady did at home. Unrecruited out of Victoria, Texas. And there you go. Yeah. And, and that's the, the bad football he's talking about? Yeah. He's playing it. Don't bet against him. I'm not betting against him. He's I'll, still there. I'm talking about right now. Oh. Hey, look. You better gloat while you can gloat I, 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 because it's I, about to change. I'm not gloating, Skip. I'm yeah. just speaking the facts. Okay. He's playing He's some facts. He's speaking the facts as an elder statesman who's <laughs> going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer and is going to even rise above your monument in the Pro Football Ooh. Hall of Fame, Brady's. I, it will be that, the bust. I might let him in. I might mm. lock the Guys, door and keep him out. Guys, we gotta go. Lock the door on him. <laughs> We're out of time. Let me say this, though. Over his career, Tom Brady is 10-0 and against the Atlanta Falcons. I'm Will he make it 11-0 and this Sunday? We'll find out. Are you going to come in here All right, we got to talk some Rams and Cowboys, exactly. gentlemen. <laughs> Who's going to come out on top on Sunday? We... I was some time with you, babe. Oh, I thought that you was mine, little babe. You make me feel so alive, little babe. Choose mine, but you change. Now I cannot spend the time on your bed. But the way you talk in my game, okay? Yeah, you said it was my heart that you saved it. Now you switch up on me and you got a new thing. Yeah, you've been up on my mind too much lately.